My Little Art Talk. Quintessentially MLP. In the last episode, I mentioned how Ponyville was made up of pastel colors and flowing curves. This is true, but it misses an essential ingredient in making something quintessentially MLP. By this, I mean the look of the show during the happy, comfortable segments. To better demonstrate the need for this missing piece, I've invited a friend that has many curves, but a very different look and feel. Exterminate! <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Exterminate! No, stop that! You promised to behave. Hmm. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Even though they have many curved surfaces, Daleks don't fit well into the peaceful side of MLP. We need a new set! Creating a pastel, Warhol-esque look for the Daleks is closer, but we still don't achieve that quintessential MLP look. For this, we must ponify the Daleks. This'll just take a minute. That's much better. Now the Daleks not only fit into Ponyville, they could believably fit in at a tea party with Sweetie Belle. So what changed? I like to call this the Lucky Charm Effect. These are found tucked into all different areas of the show. I've picked a few. The train. It's not called the Friendship Express for nothing. Ugh, Daleks. The schoolhouse is loaded with them, making it an especially friendly place. Oh, just let it have fun. They're on all the houses and yards. Check out Princess Celestia's decor. They're even on the bowling alley. Yeah, the bowling alley. So why am I doing a whole episode on this concept? Because once you realize what the show looks like when life is peaceful in Ponyville, we can look at what the artists do when they break the model, letting the audience know something is afoot. Exterminate. Oh, who let the Dalek out? We need a new set! Just look at any good picture book. The images and text are equally important in telling the story. For example, in The Lost Treasure of Griffinstone, the colors become more earth toned and the shapes more pointy, and there are little or no symbols. It's not that the symbols leave the show completely during the adventurous segments. It's that at least one of the elements change. The color palette, the curves, or the lucky charms. It could even be the way the lucky charms are used. In this image from the episode, The Cutie Map, you can see how the main six are laid out in the formation of a heart. Even though the room is not covered in lucky charms, this gives a soft feeling of hope within the troubled moment. But more on that when I do the Cutie Map review. As we can see, the symbols can sometimes be very subtle. We react to what we see, but we don't always realize the impact of the visuals as much as we realize the impact of the dialogue. Let me leave you with this thought. Fluttershy was voted in as favorite pony a few years back. Was it because she's so nice, shy, and caring? Or was there something else at work that added that extra push, making us love her the most? You decide. Next time, the Cutie Map Parts 1 and 2. Thanks for listening.